Hey, this is Kel, the Venom Teacher. I just made a video called Rattlesnake Safety Research where I documented all the research I've done with rattlesnakes where I stepped on them with an artificial leg. Uh, it was a six year study. Uh, one of the comments from one of my subscribers uh, was really good. I just wanted to do a little video uh, in answer to that comment. So they asked if, uh, if I ever thought about heating up the robo leg. So I, I use this uh, robo leg right here. Uh, to step on rattlesnakes and uh, and it's true that rattlesnakes are pit vipers and they have heat sensing pits and so uh, I have uh, looked into that when I started the study I, I took the temperature of my own foot you know my boot and compared it to this and it, and it wasn't that much but I, I did come up with some different ways that I could heat it but but to answer the question you know the boot wasn't heated uh, what I was doing was trying to, to study the actual impact of just the step because I'm, I'm putting pressure down on the snake. You know, I'm squishing it down to the ground with enough force to restrain it, but not hurt it. So the snake can't get out from under the boat. And so the, the snakes are very aware of me. You know, I'm a six foot four uh, big predator that's approaching them. That's what they, they perceive uh, humans at, as. And uh, you know, they, they can feel the vibrations of our steps. They, they have excellent vision. They're, they're very aware. You can see that they turn their heads and look at me. And plus, they're, they're doing the, the tongue flicking, and so they, they can also smell us. So well, when I come up to them, they, they know I'm there. Uh, and so uh, basically, I, I did talk about this in my um, research that was published in the Biology of the Rattlesnake 2 book. And so some of the, uh, I'm not the first one that did uh, studies like this. So there was a, one study done by Gibbons where he stepped on uh, 22 uh, cotton mouths. So these are also pit vipers that have heat sensing pits. And, and he found that uh, this was his actual foot, you know, that had heat. Uh, it was 4% that, that struck. Very, very similar to mine. So my 175 total that I did from six species of rattlesnake was 3%. Uh, another study done with uh, prairie rattlesnakes by Duvall, uh, they did 123 snakes. Uh, they took their own foot and, and wiggled it and moved it right in front of the snake and they had 2% of the snake struck that one. And then the last one was uh, Gladys who was uh, 336 uh, pygmy rattlesnakes and, and he found uh, what he was doing was taking a glove and he tapped the snakes on the head. So he was, his actual hand was wearing a leather glove, tapped it and then see if they strike. So he had 8%. So that, that's a total, between my study and those three studies, that's a total of nine species of pit vipers, uh, which made 656 snakes total in the combined studies. And, uh, and the, the percentages were all very similar. So uh, if we were looking at percentages on the other end of the spectrum, like 94% struck and 98% struck, it would be a totally different scenario. But these are all very low. And all these studies are showing the same thing, that it is very uh, unlikely uh, to get bit by a rattlesnake, you know, unless you're really picking them up and messing with them. They're just not as aggressive as we're made to believe, uh, and they're just are more interested in getting away from us. They perceive us as predators, and they just want to get away. So when I was looking into to heating this up, I came up with a few ideas. I thought about using heat pads, like the little pocket warmers. Uh, I thought about using a I thought about using electric heat pads, but you know, it's hard with the cords. And I finally came up with an idea. When, when we feed our, our rattlesnakes in captivity, that we actually use uh, frozen rats. And we unthaw them by uh, putting them in hot water. And so the rats have to be heated up or the snakes or rattlesnakes won't strike them. So they're definitely you know, using that heat sensing pit. So I thought of a, a method the, the same way. So I'm heating this up. This is actually steel toed. And so I use a little heat gun and I just heat up the tip, take the temperature and compare it to the temperature of my actual foot. Uh, and so I did do a few studies like that, uh, but uh, stepping on with the heated boot, but I didn't see any variation. Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. I'm doing a little experiment here with my Robo Leg where I'm actually going to heat it up a little bit to the same temperature of my actual uh, boot that I'm wearing. So if you look right here, uh, this is the other black boot that I used to have that goes to my robo leg boot. Alright, so what I've done, if you want to come over here and look, is I've taken the temperature of my uh, boot here, 
my, it's my actual foot and then the robo leg and it's exactly five degrees so it's five degrees different so my my actual boot is five degrees hotter so what i've done here is i set this up we just found a rattlesnake right over here in front of us i set this up in my car and i'm just going to heat it up this is just a heat gun used for crafts i'm just going to heat this up five degrees Wow, it's actually heating up really fast. This is a steel toe boot. All right, that's it. Yeah, you can, it visibly, it feels a lot warmer already. Okay, let me double check. Okay, that's it. All right, we're gonna go step on it now, see what happens. Alright, so you didn't strike at it. Alright, it's good. So as you saw, the rattlesnake didn't even seem to, to care. I mean, it, he acted just like all the other rattlesnakes that I stepped on. So I, I don't think that the heat is that big of a variable in this study. But I am going to try this uh, several more times and uh, try it with some other species and see what happens. But I, my, my hypothesis is that I, I don't think that the heat going to affect it that much. So it is five degrees difference, but they, as you saw with this rattlesnake, he, he just immediately wanted to get away. And when I stepped on him, he just started to get away even faster. So that, that's the most common behavior I see, is the snakes just trying to escape. They, they want to get away. Yeah, nothing. So that was with a heated up boot. Okay, I just heated up the robo leg. Here's a sidewinder. Here we go. And no strike. Looked right at it too. So there you have it. You know, to summarize, you know, uh, out of the 175 rattlesnakes that I stepped on, uh, six different species total, uh, I had three percent of them that, that struck. I, I did not, you know, heat up. The, the boot for those. I, I did other studies with the, the heating up and, and I just didn't see any big difference. But uh, I, I did it mostly out of convenience. You know, it's easy to be able to, to carry this around in the desert and I just find a snake and I can step on it. So it was uh, pretty convenient that way. Just give them distance and don't bother. They're not out to get us, they're not gonna chase us. That, that's the main purpose of the study. I'm just trying to show people that. So if you watch the other video that I mentioned earlier, uh, in this one, you'll see that they're more interested in just getting away. Uh, I did a lot of chasing of rattlesnakes because that's what they're doing. They're always trying to get away when I approach them. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Check out some of my other videos. Thanks.